Infinite power level chase confirmed, a reverse Rex armor, new exotics, possible raid exotics, reskinned, lost prophecy weapons and much more. That's what I have for you today. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so firstly, I want to clear something up. In a video yesterday, I talked about what at the time I thought was the new Garden of Salvation raid armor. And I know I ain't the only one who thought this either, but it turns out the army in which you can see on screen now, which was showcased on the Bungie website under the Learn More tab about Shadow Keep, this might not actually be raid armor whatsoever. We saw many new things in regards to what's coming with the Shadow Keep DLC via Bungie.net yesterday and its update. This armor was a part of that. And at that moment in time, my first glimpse at it, I initially thought raid armor. But after a little more research, I think what this actually is, is the Season of the Undying Eververse Vex themed armor. And I actually warrant that too, cause in reality, I don't want to be ruined by spoilers when it comes to the Garden of Salvation raid. I want to experience it upon its release and see what loot it offers and be surprised by said loot. Now this armor or the armor that looked just like this which was showcased on a computer screen within a Vidoc some time ago, although it looked slightly different, I think what we are seeing here are early concept images of said armor. Or they could be a part of the universal ornaments we know are common because although it's hard to actually make out the leafy kind of theme, the effects these armors have do remind me of some of the Vex we see within this season of the Undying trailer. Okay, so about a week ago I uploaded a video stating I believe we will be able to grind unlimited power levels after we reached a certain gear, maybe a gear power cap level. If you go back to my channel and read some of the comments on this video, you will indeed laugh your ass off at the abuse I received for putting information out I believed upon research was legit. Because I was the first to do this also, nobody else thought it was true. While people, it actually turned out to be indeed true. There will be an unlimited power cap to chase as confirmed by Bungie via Gamescom yesterday. Bungie were asked, the new power cap is somewhere close to a thousand right. Bungie replied with, the new power cap doesn't actually exist, technically it's infinite, if you can actually get there. The clip they state this is linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. Now the way this works is as follows, at the moment in game now we earn XP, upon earning XP we are gifted Eververse Engrams. When Shadow Keep lands, for the same X, well not for the same amount of XP but for XP we are rewarded power levels. Yes XP, earning XP indeed rewards you additional power levels and this is all to do with the seasonal artifact. Another thing I haven't taken time to actually talk properly about is the new Void Rocket Launcher which is a lot like the Void Galahorn where well, that's how many people in the community are actually describing this weapon. Well with its concept and seeing it shoot and the rocket then explode into smaller seeking projectiles, it does indeed act like the Wolfpack rounds on the Galahorn. The weapon looks super cool indeed and Something like this just seems to be that of an exotic. It seems super unique in both design and the way it acts. Now we know Bungie and their subliminal messages and easter eggs and they love to drop these into trailers. The fact we see this rocket launcher being shot at what many believe is Omnigo due to that also familiar scream. I actually believe this rocket launcher is somehow tied to Omnigo, maybe via a quest line as we do know exotic quest lines are coming with Shadow Keep. Is this one of them? Now Omnigo in D1 was a strike boss who when defeated had a chance of dropping one of my favourite pulse rifles of all time, the Grasp of Malak. Now even though I'd love to see a 2.0 version return, I highly doubt that will happen. In fact, I don't think it's even been confirmed if Omnigo will return or if she does return, will she be a strike boss? Who knows, we will see. Okay, so yesterday while covering Shadow Keep pre-order bonuses, we came across what not only confused me, but many other people out there. And that was the fact for pre-ordering Shadow Keep, you received a twin-tailed fox and an ornament. Now me not thinking Bungie could possibly make a typo on such a post, I came to the conclusion that with Shadowkeep, anyone who pre-orders it gets this variant of the two-tailed fox, much like what we saw with the Rise of Iron pre-order back in the day. I believe people back then got the Iron Galahorn. 
That's what I thought was going on here. But actually guys, it was just a typo on Bungie's behalf because going back to the website today, it's now called the Two-Tailed Fox. Okay, so moving on to what I believe is a new Warlock exotic. Okay, so this image here, we see nine different windows all showcasing various loot, so armors, weapons, whatever. All which I have theories about which we'll get to soon. But firstly notice we see a Hunter, Titan and Warlock. They all seem to be wearing that moon specific armor I believe we craft via Eris Morn with the nightmare essence we get for taking part in the moon's new nightmare modes. But yeah, this gear does indeed look cool and here is a better pick for you guys to check it out. Another thing you may notice here is the hunter is wearing the assassin's cowl exotic helmet. We also see the titan and he's wearing the phoenix cradle exotic leg pieces. And guys we also see a warlock and I believe the chest piece that warlock is wearing right there is a new exotic because it isn't for sure the moon armor that we've seen already. And judging by those capsules of arc which are super unique and look absolutely amazing this will somehow affect the arc subclass. But yeah it makes sense we are seeing one exotic for each class right here. Hunter helmet, titan leg pieces and warlock chest piece. So what else is hidden behind these images? Well people, we see that the armor I said was associated with the moon, also the weapons too, they all have the moon in the background. Also the void exotic rocket launcher I believe is somehow tied to Omnigo, who is a part of the moon. Also has the moon image in the background, which makes sense, going off my theory. But look at the other three weapons. Firstly these two. These weapons are most definitely based on previous weapon models in the Destiny franchise. The main one there you'll remember as the No Time to Explain or the Stranger's Rifle. But within Destiny 2, the main two that come to my mind are the Mercury Prophecy weapons, the Pulse and the Scouts, I believe. The background image behind these two are what I believe is a new raid. This image on screen now we see is definitely a part of the new raid. And this image was released as part of a Bungie press kit. The image in my opinion is a part of their Garden of Salvation. As we see six guardians running across this plain of green scenery. Very reminiscent to the Black Garden. As we know the new raid takes part here. And the background to these weapons we see here people is the same area. So could these be new raid weapons we're seeing right here? I believe they might be. Interestingly they also have that leafy effect to them. Which we saw on the armor within the Vidoc. Could that be raid armor? And the same leafy effect we see on those Vex within the Season of the Undying trailer. Interestingly, the hand cannon we see here, which we've seen a little footage on, also shares the same background image too. Could this hand cannon be the new raid exotic reward? I won't say it is for certain, but I am led by my discovery to think this way. We also have this treasure rifle too, which many people also believe could be a raid weapon because of its Vex qualities. But in saying that people, the whole theme of this season of the Undying is Vex with the Vex invasion. So this could just be themed around the season, which in my opinion it is. I highly doubt a trace rifle will be the main raid exotic to chase. I mean who wants a trace rifle as a raid exotic? We'd all much prefer a sniper rifle hand cannon like this hand cannon I believe is raid specific and this is what Bungie say about it. Here's a hand cannon that Victor's working on. It fires special ammo and it's a little bit like a, a one-handed sniper. Like it's actually our only hand cannon with a scope on it. Right now it kind of lights you on fire if you keep firing it too much. We'll see. Some people like it, some people are kind of eh, but uh, we'll hammer it all out. But on that note guys, that's all I have for you today. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and want to see more of this kind of video, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.